It's the day of the Sabbath, everybody. And of course, we are now a drama channel. So what's the drama today? We decided to pick First Amendment audits and religion. It appears we picked a religion that it's their day of Sabbath. Now, for those of you who don't know what a First Amendment audit is, it's just someone who photographs and tries to keep photographing when they're in public, which is our First Amendment right. And they don't stop filming when people come around and start to hassle them. That's what they do. Okay, so, God, I was gonna try to concentrate it. And just then some people went by. It's... It's hard not to do anything on a day. So I decided to see what the other First Amendment auditors were doing this morning on a day of the Sabbath. And I got onto a place, it's a synagogue in Beverly Hills. Yeah, and Furry Potato, if you are not part of the underground counterculture was on an investigative First Amendment audit assignment alone at first and then others arrived it's LA come on Beverly Hills we hear that there's some sort of problems happening with a First Amendment auditor we arrive now First Amendment auditors will typically wear all black covered up to here some are masked I have my mask I've shown it to you many times this is what i like to do i wear that so you you're wearing something like this i'm burning a hole in the uh, marilyn manson's well he rented this car once it's his rental we're calling it i got the special glasses right that film i can also do google that's true but it's mostly for filming and what we do is usually go into places public, like I like to go into libraries, I'm for the libraries, I'm all art, um, getting stamps at the post office. I wear that mask, I wear the glasses, I go in, I don't say anything. I just point to things. Or if I want to be dramatic, I can do the shlonak and do the hamdullah and the lachalili. Some people do that. that. That can be a little disconcerting. Most of the time, I get people who usually reply. Like, that's why I'm going to ask the Syrians here, because they, whenever I say shlonak to them, or alhamdulillah, or any of the things that the First Amendment auditors were saying today, it's bringing me back to the drama. So this First Amendment auditor, they, and then they had some friends show, and they were just taking pictures. And it became a big brouhaha. Right, a big whip de doo in Beverly Hills on the morning of the Sabbath. This is all happening at 8.30 a.m., yeah? So, it's Saturday, it's the Sabbath, it's happening. There's all these rabbis suddenly show up. They just come out of this temple. This, this was on one corner. I'm just saying that Burton Way, but I suppose it could be on Burton Way, but it says 322, two, two. I don't know. You can look this up, people, if you are looking to convert. Because one of them, right, the, one of these rabbis tries to convert the First Amendment auditor by saying to him, you are anti-Semite. The First Amendment auditor wasn't saying anything at this moment. You're anti-Semite, and you need maybe, perhaps, to join our religion and have see the wonderment in it. He's trying to convert this First Amendment auditor by saying, you can't be happy because you obviously fucked your mother. Yeah, yeah, you, you, uh, a rabbi with the yarmulke, I'm like never going to go to this temple. It's in Beverly Hills, people. You can tell them. That's not cool to say to someone who's just taking pictures. Right? 
Then they brought in women and children and said that you're harassing these women and children. Then they have more of the flock arriving, giving each other kudoses by calling somebody a transvestite. Look, dude's got boobs, right? Something like that. From a rabbi? Oi, 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 would my grandfather say. Oi vey is what you are going to be saying because you know you're going to be sued right now. Rabbi. And I want to tell you, Rabbi, that you shouldn't have sent your flock out now with their tools. Their, they were using their technology on a Sabbath, right? On a Saturday. And you were sending them out to say more crap. They were saying things that, I, how did you guys have a service? after saying all that stuff. You just went back into your area, your home, and then you guys all, because, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking, you guys, just, you'll have to see the video. If you see the video, you see, your, your house of worship people will be no more. And if there are more that are worshiping in this way, and just totally off protocol and laughing and being sarcastic and saying very inappropriate things. And it's all on film from now three different angles. That's incredible that you were able to have a sermon after that. I do not understand that religion and I believe very strongly that that's not a religion. That's a business or something. And that's what's going to happen to all of these places. If you don't allow someone all dressed up in black or just looking all scary, taking pictures, going shlona, kamdula, or like, la, 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 or not doing sunrise, sunset, Sunrise. I mean, I will not play Fiddler on the Roof for any of you. Ever again. It's like those Padres. They're priests here. Now, I know it's a different story, but we got problems at the mission here in Santa Barbara, California, home of the newlyweds and the nearly deads. Did you see the flash? That means something. For those of who have been following all the experimental WTF is happening here, shh, don't talk about it. Experiment. Back to the Padres. So the Padres are from a time that they did nefarious things that maybe Rabbi, you and other rabbis might be doing the same nefarious things. We are now going to check in to your affairs. That is the lesson, people. If you see someone all dressed up funny and he's not making any sense and you don't like it and you don't like to be filmed in public when, dude, get over yourselves. I mean, you're gonna have to wear more fixtures, more than just that yarmulke, not the hat, not the mask, saying, I am so holy holier than thou you said you should fuck your mama and the other guy said you should fuck your mama and the little kid who came in later to go well you should get a job you should fuck your mother and then you guys went in and uh hava, nagila, hava, nagila, hava, nagila. that's not cool to an entire generation of religious people, but I, I, I mean, just what you were saying about the Holocaust, I believe you were speaking of. Yeah, those were, those were very strong words that I don't think should have been said at 
this particular moment in time. And I hope that it will be a lesson to any institution who's going to start trouble when someone's standing on the corner taking pictures. No matter what. Don't call them a terrorist. That's ridiculous. Don't tell them to go get a job. That's, yeah, it is a job. Don't tell them they need a press pass. You can get a press pass anywhere. What, you just keep, you all say the same things. When you see someone, a First Amendment auditor, you don't want to just look it up and be like, oh, the right to film in public. You just skim it and go, oh, protest. What are you protesting? You're an instigator. No, everybody. Just watch one First Amendment audit, know what it is, know what the First Amendment of the Constitution is, and use it like Mafia Ozi will use the Fifth, if you understand? And the Fourth is a good one. The Second, it depends what state we're in, what state of mind you're in. The Third might get in there, but isn't there a Seventh? I don't know. All I know is the First Amendment of the Constitution is your right to protest, sure, about anything. Just injustice that you feel at the moment. Your right to say any old thing, any old time. You got the right. So you got the right to say that stuff about what I should do with my mother. But you shouldn't have me try to join your team because you're not showing a very good side of your team team and I know you have excuses and you can say way back during the Holocaust you're getting back at everyone else now you know we can't take pictures of your face of your feet of your hat it's so ridiculous it's so mind-boggling but it's kind of scary now because I didn't know you all think like that that you all point fingers and, and are discriminatory. And at the very next thing you'll go, but you could be different, be like us. Come, come join our, well, dude, you know, I don't know if I agree with you anymore. And I saw it. And if you want to win over a flock, my friend, you gotta start acting better. Get professional, dudes. Yeah, that was my rant. Um, it is Sabbath. I don't need to do anything. So that's why I'm doing stuff. But, oh, YouTube's notifying me. Oh, you're in trouble now. Yeah, I don't have to go down to L.A. And worry about my registration to know that had I gone by that synagogue and just tried to take pictures with my phones, I would have been aggressed in that way and somebody would have told me to go fuck my mama. On the day of the Sabbath, in front of kids, and, and, and they have a problem with us just filming that going, you're hypocrites, you're liars, Go ahead and call the police. They just left. Okay, you want to call the police again? They just left, but it was more violent this time. On the day of the Sabbath, can you do one day? Be good. You couldn't, could you? Yeah. Bad synagogue. Bad rabbi. Bad flock. Sorry, that's just what I saw. Maybe that's why you didn't want it filmed. I'm getting that. There's a lot of people like that. But it's over, you guys. Stick a, we've stuck a fork in you, and we are turning you over. You're done. All right, thanks for the letting me rant. Um, yeah, things will get better. I'm sorry I'm so negative, but I got to get it out somehow. So thanks for letting me do this. Um, let's stay in touch. I love you all. I hope uh, you're not getting hassled. Um, and if you're depressed like me, I hope you're just powering through it, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just this month. At the end of April, 
I got four or five more days. It's, it's gonna spring up. But right now it's pretty negative, huh? It's negativity that is keeping me alive. And of course, let's not forget the 805 Buddha Bliss. It's a lip balm. It's got CBD in it, THC in it. It's, um, it's keeping me alive. I want to thank you. If um, let's get some comments going. Uh, let's get let's get those conversations going here. Come on, the moderators, get out here and let's. What do you think about all this? What's going on here? This isn't civilized, is it? 